Okay, we're done. Why not? So, what I'm experiencing by looking at this village is the terraces, they're here, and they're, they're gardens, successful gardens, maybe even constructions built into that, that hill, very luscious lands, and up here, it just goes up to mountainous where they grow the almonds for miles and miles 
But this village is very well nursed. I can see plenty of almond all the way around. It's almost like just pink speckles of land, just total covered in pink and green. For miles all the way over, I can see. Now, bearing in mind, I've worked over at this village on a bed and breakfast. It's not a bed and breakfast, it's an Airbnb. But like, I, yeah, four, four and a half, four years now. Four years. Yeah. And three years ago, in a couple of weeks, this is the first time I cared for Grizzles and Ted. Well, Grizzles, anyways, Ted's about another four months and it'll be our third year anniversary. I can see lower down is where they make gardens now. We've been exploring this village quite intensively. Just the four of us. It's our local village. I've come up white, painting white lines around the village for parking yellow lines for no parking. That's what I'd be doing for three hours a day. I'm getting into the habit of not smoking before I go to bed. And uh, the next mission tomorrow is to wake up and don't smoke. It's funny because I'm working with the um, local uh, police officer. He's supervising my, uh, my work. He set me up with uh, doing the tasks. I've only had two days so far. This video will be listed or unlisted until um, I come back to YouTube. I'm not staying away from YouTube. I'm just not involved with YouTube for the next few weeks. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll jump back on for the weekend, come party with the YouTube for the weekend. But I'm relaxing. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing. We're relaxing. Looking for potential work. Make ourselves available. Let people know that we're on the other side of this mountain. I wake up at six o'clock, walk the dogs for an hour between seven and eight. Maybe about half six we start, started this morning. But that was something that I did straight away. Monday morning. And then again uh, for lunchtime, for a couple hours, walk around, sit around, taking in the view. It's never just one view if we walk around, but it's, we're getting a view of the whole surroundings. 
I made a few videos up around this area over the years of uh, visiting here. Made some noise with the power tools in the construction when Ted, Ted, Ted. Um, come on. I can see they still rotivate around here, maybe with mulos and donkeys. I you see these bits of road. So definitely they'd be able to get a tractor up there, but I'm not sure. Looking, I'm not sure. That might be donkey roads, old donkey road that I see bit of erosion taking away that bit of the mountain that strip of yellow Um. 
<laughs> what are you running for, Bice? Where do you think you be going? Hey? The rotivated land, okay, it means that the land oxygenizes. If the land is not rotivated, then it just suffocates. By rotivating, it allows many, many plants to grow. But with any farming, whatever you be growing dominates. So why would you dominate this land with weeds? You wouldn't want weeds just taking up what preciousness there is. I mean, the weeds, they carry a lot of books, housing for books. And that's not advisable. We know what it's like to live with um, books. And most books is food for other things, like things that eat books. So we don't want bugs where we're living. I'm just about eradicating a few of the worst types of bugs, fleas and ticks. So long as I keep up with the, um, the treatment, the ticks and fleas stay at bay. And the sandfly and the mosquito. They don't come around. Um. Um. It came apart. But it's all right, because right next to it was the pin. Captain kept walking. Hey. I can see the old donkey roads. I can see them going in zigzags so they can access the trees. I can see at that point it is roaded landslides. They dominate. Now these, these are what I wanted to point out. These are absolutely beautiful constructions. On every bend, on every main crowd, uh, barranco or point where the waters come rushing down. These solid cemented and then water containers with taps store the water, send it places, send it to other storage tap uh, bunkers to fill up. Look at that. Hey. Big boulders to make your terraces. 
and you start leveling them off. Now you can see up there, that's old terraces. Man used to build. When I walk you around the lower levels, I was just going to do that earlier, but I've decided just like walk. Now, where did these old pumps come from? Pipes come from? GM is right. Somewhere up there, there's a water source. It was suitable for those pipes. I've got a secret. I know what it is without even going there. Look, see? Waters that feed that. There's waters around here. Oh, smell that. Wow. I've learned about people using this for, um, building materials this slate in different parts of the road down here you can see it's evident big slabs of it hearing them birds singing as we walk I'm not going much further today because I'm um, yeah working and walking <sighs> the other day I climbed four stories up three stories up Carrying um, sand, big buckets of sand. Uh, didn't do much yesterday evening. Walking with the dogs as it got dark. I walk them three times a day. Because we're up here in the village. You know, they like it. Captain Jack sings at me every time uh, I comes back from leaving in my uh, the house. Three hours. Mm, Tuesday and Wednesday. Community service, isn't it? I gotta do 15 hours, uh, 15 days, three days a week, uh, three hours a day. Three hours a day, 15 days. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty little almond tree. Scraggly little almond tree. Now, almonds all the way around. All the way around. Wow, I've seen my first ruin. Now, we're going to have a look to see if we can see from here. See, a simple uh, acknowledgement that they're getting too far and too excited. Once they get into the field, they'll be running off and getting tangled. I don't want that. Because that means I'll have to climb down and re release them. We're not going that way yet. We're just having a look. Uh-huh. Wait, please. Dirty 
Patrick. Can't see my house from here, but this is the end of the valley. I can see that top of the road from where we live down there. that mountain um, Ted Grizzles come here oh well I can see our house from here all the way over there Pretty impressive. There used to be a, a road that goes out along there, more of a donkey road, suitable for the goats. <laughs> you know it's gone off. So yeah. Where's my nearest neighbor? As his crow flies up there. Wow. 